Hey, what's up, YouTube? Thank you for stopping by, checking out my YouTube channel. Thank you for checking out this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and click on that bell for notifications when I upload new videos. And really do that, please. You know, YouTube switched it up a little bit on me. I'll be honest with you, I was making money on YouTube. I'm not at this point right now of making this video. So by doing those things, by by subscribing, that's what I need. I need subscribers. Subscribe to these videos. If you like the information that our content that I'm putting out there, then subscribe. Click on the bell because then when I upload a new video, you're gonna know. So, oh, I'm nervous about doing this video. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been nervous about doing any kind of video. I'm a little nervous about doing this video. All right, so here it is. I'm spilling my beans, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So I got kind of coined for for a term that I used on YouTube and I didn't realize I say it personally uh, in, in real life all the time. But I, I said it on YouTube and it was funny because, man, I should trademark this term because now people are writing it in my videos and it says balling on a budget. Right. And that's the truth about it. You know, we're all balling on a budget. We're all trying to live within our means uh, to afford nicer things. Right. Um and okay, so I don't mind constructive criticism. And I get a lot of these haters commenting on my videos saying this or that, nothing. Truth be told, nine out of ten times when you got that guy that's just straight negative, like <laughs> way off of a difference of opinion of mine, then I ask him, like, yo, man, do you own a set of O's yourselves? And most of the time they don't. You know, and sometimes they're very forthcoming right away, most of the time they're not. And then you get those people who don't have them and they're saving for them and they're like, hey, man, yo, so you really think this or what do you think about that? And that's cool. That, I mean, that's what YouTube's about, right? Uh, when you're searching and you want to know somebody's opinion, you're going to spend your hard earned dollars. You're really relying on that person not to be lying. You're bullshitting you, you know, or have an alternative motive of why they're telling you something. So if you're balling on a budget, if you've been trying to get them votes for a long, long time, and man, it just it just hasn't happened because the funds aren't there. I'm going to give you a little key insight to how you get them vogues on the low, low, as they would say. All right. So typically when I was to buy a set of vogues, what I would do is I would actually go online and I would do a search on Tire Rack. Well, actually, I'm lying. Tire Rack doesn't sell vogues. Uh, but when I normally buy tires, that's where I go to tires. But I would go to I would go online and I would look up every single room shop in the area. You know, all the mom and pops and then all the big all the big guys. And I'll call them back to back. Yo, how much can you give me on this? How much can you give me on this? How much can you give me on this? And I'll get them to, you know, give me the price. And then I'll get whoever told me the lowest price, I'll call discount tire and I'll say, hey, discount tire. Uh, Joe and Schmo's uh, room shop said they'd give it to me at that price. Okay. So when it came to like buying regular low pros like Falcons, Needles, you know, you're trying to put some low pros on your cars. I've always gone to a local, I'm not going to say the name right now, but I've always gone to a local uh, rim shop in Aurora. He's been real good to me. Um, you know, I was in, you know, I was really in the car club scene since a teenager and my car club, you hooked it up really good prices. Uh, later on, I opened the shop and I started selling rims myself and got a little, yeah, that, that made our relationship not so well when I was affecting his pockets. But I'm no longer doing that. I'm diff I'm in a different profession now, but I'm still in the car scenes. Uh, not as much as I'd like to be or as I used to be because just working. So I'm not promoting any particular rim shop and saying go into them and he's giving me a kickback, you know, because he's going to give you a little dollars. I'm just going to tell you what I would do. So normally I'd call over, I get the cheapest price, and then I get, I would buy him a discount tire. And he's saying, why don't I buy him a discount tire? Well, because look, man, let's be real. If you had to save to buy these tires, right, then what happens if you trash it? Like, you know, you get a nail on the side or you hit a pothole. And I'm not saying anything bad about the tire. I'm just saying, like, it's your fault. You ruined the tire. If you had to save to buy the tires, then more than likely you don't have $400 to pull out of your pocket to buy the one you, you trashed. Right? So, or not even let's just say you don't, you do have the money. It just sucks $400. You got to buy a new one. So, I was going to discount tire because i could buy the extended warranty so in the event that i did do that you know i could get a new one okay so it's like you gotta weigh those odds out you know you're like man okay so look i'm gonna escalate i had so many nails on my tires that i was like 
man, this is bogus. Uh, I got some hater neighbors, and I'll be honest with you, I thought it was my neighbors. I put up ring cameras, like, <laughs> you want to know how to do a ring camera, man? Watch my other videos. I got cameras all over my damn house, you know, because I was like, man, how is this possible? How am I getting a nail and a nail and a nail? So I seriously thought, man, there's one of my neighbors putting tire nails in my tires, you know? Um, so that's the kind of thing, like I said, with, with the warranty. But then I've also had, I had Vogue's on my SRT8. And, man, I never got a flat. So, like, that was wasted money, you know? Two sets of Vogue's on those. And every single time I bought it, that warranty, that particular car, I never had a flat. Never had any problems. But then my Escalade, man, I was getting I was getting nails in my tire. I got a nail in my tire right now. I was getting nails in my tires, like, once a week, you know? So it's just crazy. So if you're at that point where you're like, look, man, I get what you're saying, Rick. Uh, I can call over, I can get the lowest price, I can get discount tire to match it. Um, but you know what, man? I'm really not concerned about that warranty right now. I just need those tires. I want my I want my car to look sharp. And I'm balling on that budget. And I need it as soon as possible. And I'm going to take that risk, okay? So if you want to take that risk and you want to get those tires on the low low, as they say, here is the secret. All right limo companies i said it yeah limo companies open up your yellow pages go on google bust out your phone limo companies 95 percent of limo companies they all use vogues on their es on their escalates their cadillacs most limo companies use cadillacs right and you'll see occasionally a lincoln continental super stretch whatever but Man, Cadillac's got it on lock, okay? So, here's the hookup. Vogue's allows... Now, let me set that statement back. Those those uh, limo companies, they a lot of them are authorized dealers. So, the reason they're authorized dealers is because, because they have a license for a chauffeur license or a limo company license. They actually can have a license just like a rim shop would, okay? So, and I already said I used to own a rim shop. I, I actually owned two, you know. And Vogue's, there's not a whole lot of money to be made versus on some of these other tires, but, but obviously they're still making money, right? But a rim shop, they that's how they pay their bills, so they got to make that money. Now, a limo company, that's not how they make their money, you know. They make their money driving that car. So, if you were to contact a limo company and say, hey, how's it going, brother? I was just wondering if, uh, you know, I got this uh, whatever kind of vehicle you're riding. I got, a, I got an Escalade, and I was looking to get some Vogue tires. You know, I, I, it's my understanding that you guys are, that you, you know, you, you uh, most uh, limo companies, chauffeur companies, they're authorized sellers. You know, could you sell me a set of rims, a set of tires, I'm saying? Okay, look, man, you got to come at this dude like you're some dude just being cool off the street. Because if he thinks you're shady or you're trying to set him up or something, it ain't worth him selling you a set of tires. Then, you know, they go back to Vogue and he's doing some shady business and he loses that opportunity. So just be real with him like a man. Like, yo, I've been trying to buy him. I can't really afford him. So I was just wondering if you can hook me up. And that's what happened to me. Actually, to be honest with you, I was, uh, I jumped in a limo. I was going to Mexico on vacation, and dude picked me up in an Escalade, and I started laughing. I said, yo, man, he, I'm old school, man. I listen to, like, old school R&B, you know? And uh, my wife was laughing at me because jumped in the car, boom, he was playing some old school R&B, you know? And uh, he had the same exact Escalade I had, and he had them Vogue's. And I was like, man, you know, I'm a really big fan of Vogue's myself. And it's funny, I had the same vehicle. Um, and he told me. He was like, yo, the next time you need a set of Vogue's, man, just give me a holler. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, yeah, man, I'm an authorized dealer. Really? And I just thought it was like, you know, a particular case with him. Like, you know, he, he made a deal. No. Because he told me straight up that because um, uh, he has a chauffeur's license, you know, that's the type of company that they're they're authorized to become dealers just like rim shops. So there it is. Even if that dude makes 50 bucks off you, it's 50 bucks. You know what I'm saying? It's not like a rim shop where 
you know, that's what people understand about these rim shops. These these rim shops, the, the rent's like a little shop, probably thirty five hundred dollars, and that's a little shop. Most of the time, a rim shop between five to seven thousand dollars a month. So they need to make that money. You know, you're like, come on, brother, hook me up, hook me up, man. If he does that, he's gonna have close close his doors. So you're getting the same quality tire, but you're flipping it at a different angle. You ain't going to the guy who's got to make, you know, four hundred dollars off you because he's got to keep the doors open. You're going to a dude who basically has access to it anyways and whatever you gave him man it was like you gave him a tip whatever i used that hundred dollars i made off him to put towards the next set of tires i need the other truck or whatever so that's my inside tip <laughs> Ooh, i'm nervous about saying that but uh, i didn't mention any names or who told me this or any shops or any business names but yeah so I even put his word to the test. I got on the phone and I called a couple other places and they were like, yeah, man, what you need, bro? We got you. Don't trip. <laughs> so there it is. Ah, I told a secret. So <laughs> I don't know if people are going to like that. I shared that, to be honest with you. I'm not trying to burn no one up. I'm just trying to say that if you're balling on a budget and you've been trying to get them Vogue's and it just ain't happening soon enough this may be an avenue that you could do to get that mode sooner i don't think both should be getting mad because they're they're still making money anyways right who's gonna get mad is that local rim shop that you just cut out now you're gonna start going to josh Smoll's limo service company whatever so there it is <laughs> all right so i told man so uh yeah you watch this video now now you know so when you buy them tires or when you call up but hey look in the comments don't don't write no one's name don't write no company's name i'm trying to you know hurt no one's business so if, if you called someone you got to hook up like hey rick hey brother thanks man i got them tires you were right but don't put no one's name in there don't put no one on blast you know that ain't cool uh, that's not what i'm trying to do i'm not trying to hurt nobody you know i'm trying to you know, he, he gets to make a little money. You get a discount. Win win. You know, so like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification button. Bam! Get you a set of bulbs you've been saving for for a long time. You couldn't afford it. There it is. Peace.